Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog, we're gonna talk about luxury pre-love bags. Should you buy pre-love luxury bags? And what are the pros and cons? Welcome back guys to my channel Lux and Packs. I hope you are all doing well and still keeping safe. For today's vlog, as you can see, I've got my pre-love bags with me. So this one is a Manhattan GM which was introduced in 2005 and I bought this only in October 2020 last year. So the age of this bag is 13 years old. Well, this one is a Monsery in MM size or a medium size and I bought this January this year only and this bag is now 21 years old look at them they are still in fabulous condition by the way if you're new to my channel my name is M and I do unboxing and reviews of luxury items fashion travels shopping and life in the UK so if you're into that vlog please do consider subscribing to my channel and be part of my YouTube family so the pre-love or the second-hand market is now boom booming like never before. Many handbags lovers are choosing this route to buy their luxury handbags as what the largest consignment store motto which is the fashion file. Their motto is use is the new new so it's like you're in fashion. So by using this route you should be able to find or buy a luxury handbags that is cheaper but obviously it could be very challenging and there could be a lot of pros and cons and that I will briefly discuss. Let's start with the positive note which is the pros. What are the advantage of buying a pre-love luxury handbags? So obviously the price. So this is the number one reason why many handbag lovers choose to go on the pre-love route because obviously you'll get a pre-love bag that is cheaper because in general the designer handbags comes in a very hefty price tag but you are paying for the quality, the materials, the craftsmanship, the brands, and the history of the bags. But sometimes it is still very difficult to justify paying that amount of money for just one purse. That is why it is sometimes advisable to go on the pre-love route or in the pre-love market because you should be able to buy any designer handbags 10 to 70 percent of the retail price but you have to shop around to get a good deal that is worth it so the second reason is the item has now been discontinued or hard to find items so these two items are now discontinued so obviously you will only find this on the pre-love market or Louis Vuitton has a permanent collections that is very difficult to find such as the mini pochette that's one example that is why that is one of the reason why handbag lovers choose to go on the pre-love market and this is the route that you should take if you want to acquire any vintage pieces and there's no any other way that you should be able to do that except to go on the pre-love market so those are the two advantage only that I could see why you need to go to a pre-love market the price and the availability of the items unfortunately if there is a pros there will be a cons so what are the disadvantage of buying a pre-love items so again it's the price it's overpriced so because the items is vintage and it can be difficult to find so obviously reseller sell it 50 to 100 percent over the retail price so it is really overpriced and if you look on the big consignment shop you will also notice that it is ridiculously overpriced like this monsuri in mm size i can see in some of the consignment shop they are priced as 1,400 pounds. So my point is, be cautious with the price. Do your research and most of all, know your budget. But saying that, there are some individuals that is happy to pay more than the retail price just to get their hands on the vintage pieces. 
So number two, the authenticity of the bags. So this is a very serious question that you need to ask yourself before you actually buy a pre-love bag. Is it worth buying a pre-love luxury handbag knowing that you can end up with a fake ones? That's scary. There's a lot of horror stories that I've heard and read about buying a designer handbag and ending up buying a fake ones instead. So there are a lot of scammers out there guys so you have to be really careful and do your research and find a trusted sellers because there's a lot of scammer like they're gonna show you all the authentic photos and then once you close the deal and they've got your hard-earned money then they will send you a fake ones and there are a lot of class a replicas around if you don't have a professional eye or if you don't know what is the difference between the authentic and the non-authentic it can easily fool you so you have to know exactly what to look for if you're buying a pre-love luxury bags so do a lot of research ask as many photos as you like and ask a lot of questions because at the end of the day it's your hard-earned money and if the seller's item is authentic they will be happy to send you as much photos and answer your questions so the third disadvantage when you buy a pre-love bags is no dust bag and no box so it is seldom that the items will have a full inclusion like a full set of package but there are few that doesn't mind if the item does does not come in a complete set as long as they manage to get that vintage items so like this this doesn't have any box at all but i don't mind because i love them and lastly is the condition of the bags so obviously this is a pre-love bag so you have to lower down your expectations so bear in mind that this bag has now developed its own character the vachetta leather has developed its patina it, there could be watermarks there could be scratch scuffing the hardware has tarnished but it does not matter as i've said before if your bag is authentic and the vachetta leather become worn out the Louis Vuitton will be happy to replace that for a price. As long as your canvas is in perfect condition, once they replace the vachetta leather, your bag will look like brand new. So in conclusion, there will be many advantage and disadvantage when you decide to buy a pre-love luxury handbags. So think hard before you let go of your hard-earned cash. Definitely do a lot of research know the bags that you like set a budget it should be in a reasonable price do not buy a pre-love in impulse and find a reputable and trusted seller and if needed use the the service of an independent authenticator and finally weigh the pros and cons and good luck so that's it guys so i hope you find this vlog helpful please do comment down below what is your thoughts about pre-love handbags i would like to know did you buy any pre-love handbags and what was your experience anyway until then if you're new to this channel please don't forget to like and subscribe and be part of my youtube family so once again Thank you for watching. Until then, God bless and keep safe. Bye!